everyone, it's Kathy here. I wanted to go through my 2014 Disney album. Um, I actually created this, I created three of these, and it was a special trip in 2014 that I had with my mom and my sister, her two children, as well as my own children. No husbands allowed, four kids, all under five. And so what I did was I created three of the same similar albums and you'll notice that I typed up all the journaling and that's because I copied it three times. So here's my cover. These are wood veneers, um, I think from Studio Calico. And all I did was put the black Wink Estella over top. On the inside, you'll notice I had an extra little flap there. That's because that fell out and I'm not really sure where that has to go. Uh, the cover is a transparency with some sequins there, Disney. And you'll notice it's sewed at the top. I'm not sure if you can tell. And that's because there's an actual transparency in there and that's how I kept the Disney in place. Um, Here's the beginning, how I kind of talk about the beginning of our trip. And it was in September, so there's a calendar there. That's, again, from another old Studio Calico kit, I believe. Shot of the packed lunches. And all, a lot of these cards, you'll notice, is actually from the Simple Stories um, Magic Kit, maybe? I can't remember what it's called. So here's more journaling. You'll notice that I went from the top into the bottom. All my journaling cards are mostly done on the grid cards. Stampin' Up! grid cards. And so that kept it consistent throughout the whole album. Here's a picture of us traveling. I split up this 6x4 and uh, cut it in half, but it kind of worked out perfect. Sorry, it's a Simple Story Say Cheese collection. And there's a Simple Stories Say Cheese 2 out now. Uh, we stayed at Disney's Wilderness Lodge. So here's kind of some pictures of our stay in the hotel. Not necessarily the very next day. Uh, extra flap here. Say Cheese. This is an insert that I did. This is from, uh, I think, Bow Bunny Zoology Collection. I've been hoarding that one. And again, this is a wood veneer that was um, colored with the silver Wink Estella. All this is using the Say Cheese collection. So the way that I started my album was I actually printed every single picture that we had from Disney and then I sorted into three piles, one for me, one for my sister, one for my mom. So even though the albums look very similar, they're not actually exact because I only used what I had. And then I sorted them by each day and uh, I kind of had them in piles. I did all the journaling in one shot, so I did three copies for each time. And uh, I ran these through the printer, not, uh, not my typewriter. So I love these shots, these close-ups of happiness, even though they're not perfect pictures. Once I had the journal, the pictures slotted in, that's when I decided to throw in all the extra Project Life cards. Once I had the Project Life cards in, that's when I start to embellish with all the stickers. This is Tusker House. And again, that's where I use the other half of the Bow Bunny Zoology. I love these little pr frames. They're so cute to just cut down. And another flip card here. So life is one big awesome crazy adventure. Hotel life. This is another spot where we, with, with four toddlers slash infants, we did spend a lot of time in the hotel and so there were some really cute moments about these little kids and I wanted to make sure that I had those little moments documented. The bathtub. I did get the, uh, what I found with anybody interested in going to Disney was 
I did get the photo pass. I found it really, really convenient as a mom of two because it's so hard to get your kids in the picture, let alone um, then go and take it. So I found that the photo pass was, um, no, photo memory maker was worth every penny. I think it's $149.99 in advance of your trip. And it really, we got a lot of excellent pictures from that. So this one here is uh, a transparency. And what I did was I took a four by six vertical car, uh, picture and I put them back to back and then I sewed around it. So that worked out great. You, you couldn't see through the transparency. Anytime I had the 4x6 vertical cards, I decided that I really needed to use a transparency because this 6x8 album didn't really quite uh, make those work out and I didn't want to reprint them. Um, this is Swimming. I love those cards. I think they're Civil Stories as well. Summer, I believe. And more transparency uses or transparency uses. I just cut up this. This was a 12 by 12 page, and I cut that up. Used a lot of the POW glitter paper. It just kind of flowed with the Disney magic. Again, some of the six by eight pages, I blew them up and uh, made sure I had stuff on both sides. This uh, is from the not so scary Halloween party and I cut out the pamphlet. You can tell it's kind of tattered, but it worked out pretty good. And there was no good picture of the four of them in their costumes, of course. But a super lot of love. This is the party at the uh, Boo To You Parade at Magic Kingdom. So again, that's another flip and another flip. It started to rain. And here's their pile of goodies that they had that we had couldn't bring in the plane. These are this is one of the luxuries too that you can get with the memory maker. You um, this kind of was inserted at the end. She she had no idea she was pointing to um, I can't remember his name. Anyway, super cute. I'm, I'm a big fan of that memory maker, I must say. It's my son asleep under the table. And Crystal Palace, I did that again. We just love, we're, we love Winnie the Pooh. So, did that sewing again. Uh, you'll notice I have these little, um, I forget what they're called. I'll open them up. So you can see that I just stapled them on. Make sure that you staple them on. Rather than put hole punches right through your transparencies, it's way easier to get those little adjustments. Here is where I did actually take my camera out and I took a picture of her meeting Rapunzel, or sorry, um, yeah, Rapunzel. And it was, absolutely adorable. A moment I'll never forget, that's for sure. So I'm so glad that I caught that on video. I uploaded it to YouTube and put it in the QR, co QR code. I can send some instructions on the QR codes. My easiest way, in my opinion. So again, 6x8 with the Glitter Pow um, paper. For the princesses, it was awesome. Really awesome. Some Heidi Swap uh, cards. Project Life cards. And that's Elsa. We waited two hours. And Anna. And some, again, Heidi Swap um, words there. So I did try to divide up all the parks. We kind of tackled one park a day. We only did about three or four hours. I know it surrounded our character dining usually. So this again is. Um, some wood veneer with some Wink of Stella on it. It's the big man himself. And 
that is my mother being silly. So you can tell this is another advantage of the memory maker. Um, the butterflies right here were added in after the fact. So after we checked our photos that night. With the memory maker you can actually go on your account and see those photos right away. It's awesome. Uh, this is Chippendale. She just loved the characters. She loved them. She's four years old, just four years old in these pictures. And uh, Disney, she she's a thrill seeker now. She's five, so she likes the coasters. But at this time, it was all about the characters. And this is our baby niece, whose headband kept falling down. So now we're into Hollywood Studios, in which the kids were not interested in photos at all anymore. And this is uh, a simple stories project four by six project life card. It comes in those little books. The transparency. Just buying one pack of the Say Cheese collection is plenty. I would recommend getting some glitter paper and perhaps some um, transparencies as well as maybe some dividers between the parks or whatever suits your fancy and some project like grid cards. If you if you are a good planner I would recommend uh, writing some notes every day when you're in the parks and special moments and things that they say and then you can write them up after. I wasn't that. I tried at first but I failed. And here's the end and kind of said how great a trip it was. So I added a envelope with some extra stuff in there. So it has our itinerary and some different things and some notes and the badges that they give you. And that's it. Happy um, documenting Disney. Bye.